this week we are talking about baby led weaning. Go ahead and Google it, it's a thing. The idea of BLW, as those in the know call it, is basically to let a kid eat solid food as soon as they can sit up and reach out for things, usually around six months. Here's a baby eating a pork chop. See? I can't help but think about my mom here. I wasn't allowed to eat bacon until I was 12, and even that was a negotiation. Do babies who eat solid foods early choke more than babies raised on the traditional pureed mush? That was the question researchers in Australia posed when designing a randomized trial appearing in the journal Pediatrics. They took 204 healthy newborns and randomized them to a standard diet, you know, that's the pureed stuff we all ate from about six months on, versus baby-led introduction to solids, or bliss. Those in the bliss group were encouraged from six months on to eat solid foods. Now, the researchers were a bit strict about this. They gave parents an extensive list of food to avoid, choking hazards like raw apples, nuts, and sliced carrots. They pointed out that any food should be at least as long as the child's fist in one dimension. Mom, I would like to point out that bacon might be okay here. They evaluated the kids every two months to determine the rates of gagging and choking. The latter requires some sign of air stoppage. The major findings? The Bliss kids gagged more at six months, but less at eight months, suggesting the earlier exposure might have helped them develop some mouth muscle control. But in terms of choking, what we're really worried about, no difference. Actually, this is where the study got interesting to me because I never really knew how often babies choke. There were 199 choking events among the 204 kids. Fortunately, 50% resolved without assistance, but that still left 98 where the parent had to do something. Again, this was regardless of randomization to the bliss group. But here's the interesting thing. The majority of the choking events occurred with foods that didn't appear on the choking hazard list. In fact, of the three choking events that required emergency medical assistance, two were due to milk. So, moms and dads and various busybodies, it seems that infants are going to gag and most of them at some point will choke. What they're eating might not matter. Just be there when it happens. For MedPage Today, I'm Perry Wilson.